Yo, what's good, YouTube? I hope we are doing well. I need to drink some of my green juice. This stuff good. Man. <clears throat> okay, I need water out of that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, I hope y'all are doing well today. So, today, I got a new video for y'all. Y'all probably know what it is. Y'all clicked on the video. Um, I want to know some more about these guys, man. For real, for real. Um, and you guys said that there's a video that talks about the things that they had to get through to get to where they are. Now, when you think of, uh, you know, the people that you actually admire and actually look up to, heroes and such, things like that, um, or just people in this world, man, we all go through stuff. And it's important to actually lean your heart and open your heart to people's stories. So that's what we about to do today, man. We about to look at BTS hardships, y'all. BTS hardships now. Um, now, I'm the type of person who doesn't, you know, like racism. I don't like, you know, any of these type of topics, you know, and I don't like really talking about these, you know, these type of topics. But these are things that are apparent here today. So, yeah, man. I ain't gonna take up too much more time. We got a <clears throat> we got a 30 minute video here today, y'all. So, but we got BTS hardships 2013 to 2021. Um, if there's anything that's gonna fill in the gap between 21 to 23, uh, or where we are now, I know that they're in the military. I don't know when they went or signed or enlisted or anything like that. But um, we're going to have everything up until 2021. OK, so this is what we are doing right now. Um, man, let's just go on this ride. Um, I'll pause it if I feel like I got something to say. Um, and yeah, so let, let, let's let's lend the ear, let's lend the heart and, you know, let's see what they what they had to go through. This video was not made in order to relive the sadness or to hold grudges against others. This video was made to remind us that BTS didn't rise to success without facing hurdles, and these events have created a stronger bond between BTS and ARMY. June 13, 2013. Okay. BTS were only able to debut because the scheduled performers canceled. BTS oh, wow. was a filler. Even after debuting, they couldn't get much airtime. Their performances were either shortened, cut from broadcasts, or not uploaded for online consumption due to their company's lack of. So this is so this has to be the first performance. Um, and honestly, they are doing very very well. Like this is crazy. So they weren't even supposed to perform at all. Even after go. debuting, they couldn't get much airtime. Their performances were either shortened cut from broadcasts yeah. or not uploaded for online consumption due to their company's okay. lack of clout at that time. From sleeping in wow. one bedroom to using their own staff as extras. Two extras here are their managers. And and we seen in the first in that um, you know, part where they was dancing, you know, they put their names on their chest because that was their debut. Nobody knew who they was. Interesting. To recording an album in a garage. These mm. were just a few things BTS experienced early on in their careers due to their company's limited budget. Because some of the members came from an underground rap background, but ultimately chose the path of becoming idols, they were often disrespected. Really? Okay, 
A rapper、mm. told RM and Shiga that they were on the right path, but straight away and were no longer considered real rap hip hop artists. Deeming、wow. them girls for wearing makeup. Oh wow! Wow! Shut the front door. No way. No way. So damn. So he really said that to their face, like y'all, that's feminine. Y'all wearing makeup because y'all want to be idols. But idols is a it's a whole different word now. Now I feel like nowadays people feel like they can kind of compartmentalize and comprehend that word. But like back then, you know, that's crazy talk. That's like I bring the world here, you know, or whatever. Being told by several people they would never make it because they came from a small agency. Big Hit Entertainment was at one point near bankruptcy and didn't have the financial power to promote and push BTS the way other companies could with their own groups.、Mm. In 2014, Suga shared his story about battling depression since pre-debut days. Suga continues to discuss and bring awareness to mental health through his work. Until now, BTS has continuously been transparent about their darkest thoughts and feelings. Not just through their music, but also their very public personas. February 2014, BTS were accused of copying the schoolboy concept for "Boy in Love," which came out shortly after another group released their music video. Even though the concept is a popular choice amongst young boy bands, April 2014. So when did so when did that come out? When did "Boy with Love" come out? That's crazy. That that's the first thing I ever seen of them. During a variety show, the host confronted them about this plagiarism accusation. So I got to no question. Where are the people? Wrong man, man. Ah, this is a good one. Okay, this is a good one. What? So I got your promotional uniform clothing overlapped with the asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Throughout their careers, they've been constant. Oh. Okay. 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 Asterix. Asterix. Asterix was other. Man, this was other people in question. Only criticized for plagiarism, often for outfits, props, concepts, and hair colors that are ordinary、huh. not just in K-pop but the expansive world of visual arts. November two thousand fourteen. Hashtag kick out J Hope BTS trended on Twitter, calling J Hope ugly and untalented. The trend became popular enough that their friend and supervisor from their reality show American Hustle Life, Tony Jones, tweeted out saying, "Every member is needed and talented."、Wow. Jin stepped in by telling Armies to cheer up and that all of them were working hard. Armies got together and trended. Wait, they spelled some. They spelled some. Cheer up and that all of them were working hard. Armies got together and trended. Hashtag J Hope, you're perfect to comfort him.、Man. May 2015, BTS finally won their first music show with their song "I Need You." Two years、okay. after their debut, but、okay. were accused of sacheki. This is when companies buy back albums to boost external sales records. But this was when their company was barely surviving financially, making the claims groundless. May 2015, V was accused of mocking another idol group after they won a music show and were accepting the trophy. People began to send him death threats. Death threat? Nah, bro, that's crazy. Isn't he just dancing and singing? V criticized for alleged rudeness toward. I mean, his eyes are closed. 
V was accused of mocking another idol group after they won a music show and were accepting the trophy. People began to send him death threats. However, he wasn't mocking them at all. V was known to be a fan of this group and was hey, singing hey. their song out of excitement. He apologized on Twitter for huh. the misunderstanding and provided screenshots showing that he would always listen to this song before bed. July 2015, BTS abruptly halted their concert, The Red Bullet, in New York due to death threats towards RM. All related fan activities. Not my man RM, no, bruh. To RM, no, bruh. You really got a, you really got a RM, no, bruh. RM. First V, now RM. All right, bro. New York, due to death threats towards RM. All related fan activities were also subsequently canceled. Attendees of the show were forced to leave the venue, where there was a strong presence of security and police at the scene. RM also received another death threat for another upcoming show in Mexico later that month. July 2016, people began to debate over alleged misogynistic lyrics and tweets from BTS. This led to the members and the company reflecting back on their actions. Hmm. BTS's agency, Big Hit Entertainment, responded with an apology and a promise to do better. Consequently, the band grew from this lesson and have since released feminist overtures such as 21st Century Girl and in 2019 responded to their 2014 single Boy in Love with Boy with Love. Oh, making me a boy with love. Okay. Wow. Wow. Well, quite a unique... Uh couple of songs I chose to start off with, right? Hmm. What's up, Hasley? Ain't that her name? A collaboration with Halsey. Halsey? Sorry. Fancy meeting you here. RM has said that since the incident, he pays closer attention to the lyrics he writes, reading newspapers and books to study the social phenomena. After he finishes writing lyrics, he consults experts of women's studies to objectively examine the lyrics. Sure. May 2016. Oh, During their epilogue concert, aunties began to use the hashtag Plagiarism Boy Scouts. Huh? Multiple fandoms teamed up to trend this hashtag in Korea. Be Multiple fandoms. Aw, oh, the big people mad, bro. The big people mad, bro. BTS saw this and the media latched on. June 2016 During the variety show Flower Crew, Jungkook arrived at the filming location with a bag of hamburgers for his cast members, hoping to break the ice. One of the cast members made rude comments and turned Jungkook's offer away. <laughs> BTS has since Dog, dog, no way, he just being nice Dog, bro, chill out, chill out, chill out bro, Members bro, made rude talk. comments and turned Jungkook's offer away <laughs> BTS has since filmed another variety show with the same host and spirits seem high. Yeah. September 2016, Antis made yet another project called Break Wings Project hmm. to try to sabotage their comeback in October. The Antis. So Antis is what they call. They sound like viruses. I guess. Project was caught and stopped once comments on YouTube broadcasting the project were put on blast. Wings then went on to sell 16,000 units in its first week, appearing at number 26 on the US Billboard 200 chart, setting the then highest record for a K-pop album and making BTS the first and only K-pop act at that time to log three entries on the Billboard 200. 
Yeah. Because of this, Antis took strategic pictures of non-armies and claimed that there was no line in stores that sold physical albums. October 2016, during the Bus wait, that was in 2015. Well, people still buying albums then, bro. Bro, that pissed me off, bro. You know what I hate, bro? I hate people who down people who only have the best intention at heart. Like, like, like that's the one thing that I get me, bro. That's the one thing, bro. Every time, bro. Every time. Like, like the one that's always doing good. You know, he he's for some reason just shunned out. You know, everybody just downing, picking all that stuff, bro. Be beating like like beating somebody while they down, bro. That's 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 so heinous, bro. I don't like it. I'm sorry, bro. It's just I can't I can't get down with that. Can't, bro. Like so that that John Koo scene, bro. For real. That mug hit me, bro. Sun One Asia Festival fans were told a couple hours before the broadcast that BTS were no longer appearing because one member was absent from an injury, even though a countless number of fans were already present at the event venue and BTS was ready and willing to perform. BTS ended up performing for the fans who attended the event and waited all day, but it was at the end of the event with leftover confetti, no proper lighting, and no cameras rolling. Their performance was mm. not broadcasted and only fan cams were taken. October 2016 During BTS's Blood, Sweat & Tears promotion in South Korea, BTS wasn't given a waiting room at the broadcast center. So the members made do and practiced, got dressed, and did makeup in front of the bathrooms. They would huh. practice non-stop without resting, greeting other staffers who were going to the bathroom, and other idol groups would openly look down on them. This comment was left Smile, under a video bruh. uploaded by Wei, a member from Crayon Pop. Wei responded, Yes, that's right. All I remember is their hard work and efforts. I especially haven't forgotten RM's voice practicing Japanese. Shout November away, 2016. V made a heartfelt announcement during their muster that his beloved grandmother had passed away. Oh, and he no, saw this bro. as an opportunity to twist his narrative and intentions, sending him death threats and accusing him of using her passing as a ploy for attention. What? November 2016, Big Hit released a formal statement about taking legal actions regarding malicious rumors, yeah, false bro. statements, and personal attacks against BTS. The company continues to pursue legal actions against perpetrators to this day, enforcing a strict no settlement and leniency policy. November 2016 Fans of another group were upset that BTS won Album of the Year at the Melon Music Awards, claiming it was done out of charity and that miscalculations were made. They called Melon Customer Care, where an employee explained that the company's internal data proved that BTS scored higher. Audio of the conversation was released. <laughs> 계산한 게 있는데 그러면은 네. But the artist didn't release any album that I went from this award. So what you're saying is that the data we see is absolutely different compared to the data data considered by Melon. 저희가 보는 거랑 뭐 Melon 내부에서 보는 거랑 그러면은 데이터가 아예 다르다는 소린가요? 아니요. 똑같으시고요. 거기에도 보셨던 거는 채트랑 네. 그리고 스트리밍 그 실시간 그 앨범 자체가 나오고 나서 순간 차트에 대한 그런 데이터를 아십니까? 그건 아닌 것 같아요. 고객, 고객께서 보신 전체 데이터 수치는 아마 보시기 어려우실 것 Think it's difficult for you to see the total views, but the data is only available to low you. I'm not sure how you calculated the score, but whatever you calculated is the scores from the chart. But what we use is not the chart. We look at the data of, you know, the number of times listened by the general public and not how many times their fans buy or stream the artist songs. It's the overall digital score. Yeah, 
고객님들께서 정리해서 보신 거는 그 차트, 차트 반영에 관한 내용들이고요. 네. 그 부분이 아니라 1년 동안 고객님들께서 스트리밍 돌리시고 앨범을 산그 이용권 말고 많은 대중들이 전체적으로 그 됐잖아요. 네. 그거에 대한 결과 전체 음원 합산 점수예요. 내부적 고객께서 지금 생각하신 게 혹시 내부적 이게 비리가 있는 거 아니냐라고 생각이 드실 수 있는데요. 네. 뭐 제가 말씀드릴 수 있는 부분은 비리 전혀 없으시고요. 방탄이 1년 동안 보다 스트리밍 수가 많이 받았다 받아서 상을 받았다라고 생각하시면 되십니다. February 2017, BTS were accused of plagiarism after their performance at the Gaon Chart Music Awards. The part in question was when the no signal bars on screen resembled another group's past stage. To make matters worse, the creative director of the group in question created a post on Instagram with the captions, hmm, our hard work. And siblings of the group liked that post. Gotland Charts eventually posted an official statement in regards to the accusation, admitting that their own production team was in charge of the graphics, not Big Hit. BTS has not attended or performed at Gotland Chart Music Awards since, only pre taping acceptance speeches. So they just tried to set them up, bro, in the worst way. They know, they know that they've been through this type of thing before, right? And it was like, yeah, they handle the graphics. So they're just there to perform. They have their own stuff that they have to worry about, their routine, their choreography, their own extras, people, um, you know, wardrobe, makeup, uh, everything, right? And I'm pretty sure they got their own lighting and scheme too. But they were in charge of the graphics. Like, they could make that graphic any color as long as they, you know, fit with what they're doing. And they set them up to do the exact same thing that somebody else did, bro. And then posted that mug, bro. Such an ambiguous post, too. You... March 2017. Death threats were made against BTS, with their target being Jimin this time. This what? threat happened during their world tour, and Big Hit addressed this threat, increasing security around the venues. December 2017, fans of a different group were so outraged by the results at the 2017 Mnet Asian Music Awards that they filed a petition under the Blue House, the executive office and official residence of the South Korean head of state. They requested MAMA to be abolished because BTS won, crashing the Blue House petition website, which was meant for the South Korean citizens only with traffic from overseas. May 2018, Jimin once again received death threats, this time during their Love Yourself tour in Fort Worth. Police tweeted soon afterwards that they were investigating the threat. November 2018, on November 7, a South Korean court ordered a Japanese company to compensate them for wartime labor during Japan's colonial rule of the Korean Peninsula. The next day, Japan's TV's Asahi's music station hold on, announced hold on, hold on. November 7, a South Korean court ordered a Japanese company to compensate them for wartime labor during Japan's colonial rule yeah. of the Korean Peninsula. Yeah. The next day, it's Japan's old. TV's Asahi's music station announced that they have cancelled BTS's appearance on their show, slated for November 9th due to a recently resurfaced screenshot of a member wearing a t-shirt depicting a photo of an atomic bomb and of Koreans celebrating their independence from Japan. The band subsequently became attacked by the extreme conservatives Man. in Japan, and the news was picked up by the Western media. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
그전 세계에서 쏟아내고 있는 기사들이 어디가 어떻게 잘못된 건가 팩트 체크를 다 해서 okay. 이 2차 세계 대전에 대한 어떤 자료들을 다 모아서 백서 화이트 페이퍼 네. 프로젝트를 발간합니다. 아, 영문으로 해서 적혀있는 거예요? 예, 영문과 한국어 동시에 이렇게 다볼수 있는데 분량이 166쪽 정도 돼요. 그러니까 거의... April 2019. During wow. BTS's global press conference for Map of the Soul, Persona, a reporter bluntly asked BTS about past plagiarism allegations. 사실 제가 그 윙스하고 빗담 눈물 언급했던 거는 그때 이제 뭐 문제가 됐던 내용 그뭐 표절? 표절인가? 그 프랑스 작가분께서 언급하셨던 그 부분을 언급해서 여쭤본 거였고요. 그거에 대해서 그냥 뭐 질문이 좀 불편할 수는 있겠지만 아, 답변을 좀 듣고 싶은 부분 때문에 아, 질문을 네. 드렸습니다. 네, 그거에 대해서는 저희 회사에서 이제 이 저희 회사 벙팀에서 작가님이랑 이야기를 하고 있고요. 저희 의견, 저희 생각도 회사랑 동일하다고 생각을 하고 있습니다. 네, 그 거에 대해서는 회사에서 지금 처리를 하고 있기 때문에 뭐 결과가 나오면 알겠죠. 네, 감사합니다. Netizens later uncovered an article written by a reporter of the same name on another entertainment company's news website. April 2019. SBS Inkigayo excluded BTS's Boy With Love out of its charts for the song's first illegible week. Questions about the criteria used by the music show were raised, while SBS continued to claim the calculation period did not fit with BTS's album release time. To My this, gosh. Dispatch compared BTS to another group who also released a song on the same day. That group entered the rankings and took its first win for their song that week, while BTS were left out of the rankings entirely. Huh. December 2019, JTBC reported that BTS went against their own agency and planned to file a lawsuit against Big Hit Entertainment. Big Hit pulled out receipts and released a lengthy statement on behalf of Big Hit Entertainment, <laughs> BTS, and the members' families. They called the media company's journalism practices into question, stating, We have not only the video that JTBC used for the first report, but also the CCTV video that recorded the footage of the journalist breaking into our company. December 2019 MBC is accused of abusing their power to purposely prevent other groups under Big Hit Entertainment from appearing at their year-end show after BTS chose to wow. appear on the US's NBC New Year's Rockin' Eve countdown in New York City instead of MBC's year-end program. According to Osen, multiple industry sources shared, ever since October, when BTS's side told MBC that BTS would not be appearing on NBC's year-end music festival, it has been difficult for singers associated with Big Hit Entertainment to appear on NBC. So they're not only boycotting these guys and these members, bro. They're boycotting the whole company, bro. Like, it's these big... Bro, and I think it might be... It, I feel like it's trickle-down effect, bro, from probably like the bigger name like companies that you know have more money than them at the time um using their fans and fan bases to do you know things like like what what is bts doing to y'all bro what are they doing to y'all nothing it is already an openly known fact in the industry january 2020 for 29 years, the Seoul Music Awards only had one grand prize, also known as a Daesang. But in 2020, they created a second Daesang for digital music. BTS won the Daesang for physical music only, even though their stats proved that they should have also gotten the Daesang for digital music as well. BTS did not appear in person to accept the award and has only sent in video acceptance speeches since. July mm. 2020. Na For all the day songs? Day song? I like saying it. Day song. They were to invest over 80 million USD into. 
Weaver, the Google of South Korea, reportedly invested over $80 million into another entertainment company after losing out on profits from BTS, who chose no. to hold an online concert through Weverse, a mobile app and web platform developed by Big Hit Entertainment. BTS earned at oh, least yeah. $21 million in ticket revenue, according to an analyst at securities firm. This is that one they were talking stated, about. Naver lost BTS, the most popular IP of K-pop, and must have felt the need to invest in entertainment to form a stable relationship. Since 2017, fans have noticed that South Korean platforms such as Naver and media journalists were ignoring and downplaying BTS's achievements. Popular websites hardly posted anything about them, nor did they feature BTS. So you mean to tell me Naver? The goo y'all got Google against y'all? No way. Entertainment to form a stable relationship. Since 2017, fans have noticed that South Korean platforms such as Naver and media journalists were ignoring and downplaying BTS's achievements. Wow. Popular websites hardly posted anything about them, nor did they feature BTS on their front pages. Music critic Kim Young Day and popular political commentator Kim Oh Jun recently discussed this issue. That boy got attached earlobes to the chin. BTS는，그，버금갈정도，예，현상을지속적으로만들었는데，거기에비하자면，아주수정이좀적다，호들갑떨리그렇게좋아하는이미디어들이왜이럴까근데궁금증이평소에있었거든연결되는이야기예요그
BTS라는 이 현상, BTS의 이곳의 성공, BTS의 세계적인 열풍 자체가 제도권의 시스템을 거치지 않았다는 거예요. 어... 그래서 이 제도권 Sorry. 자체가 제도권의 시스템을 거치지 oh, yeah. 않았다는 거예요. 어... 그래서 이 제도권을 점하고 있는 그 언론일 수도 있고 음... 뭐 프로모터일 수도 있고 음반회사일 수도 있죠. 이 사람들이 보기에 썩 납득이 가지 않고 음... 유쾌하지도 않아요. 자기 힘이 입지 않는 okay. 거지. 그렇게 그렇습니다. 점하고 있는 위치에서 자기 영향력이라는 게 있는데 이걸 다 거치지 않고 성공해 버렸으니까 자기 존재 이유가 없어지는 거 아니에요. 그런 맥락에서는 오케이. 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 I see. I see. I see. I see. So it's saying so they were saying that they're mad like these big agencies and companies like I kind of said earlier the media companies your your promoters your you know big people that are supposed to be the you know the gatekeepers and the way that you get to these global ideology type standards or whatever it is that you want to say they didn't go through them you know they didn't have to go through them they all they did it all organically they did it all with themselves and what he said at the end it was like now that basically created a world where they're like where these big agencies aren't needed you know so they're scared they don't they don't want they don't want BTS to keep going. They don't want you to win. What did DJ Khaled say? They don't want you to float in the water. So we float in the water. That's crazy. December 2020. For the last few years, BTS has been the face of political discourse on the revisions of South Korea's mandatory military service. Even though BTS and their company have not spoken about wanting postponement or exemptions and have insisted that they will serve when called upon Mandatory. in august 2018 which they doing right now shout out y'all all major south korean entertainment companies held a meeting to discuss petitioning the government to revise the law to allow k-pop performers to be exempt from service in addition to the top artists musicians and athletes that already qualify Big Hit Entertainment was not among the agencies, but BTS was used as the leading example for this revision. The whole issue of BTS being exempt from military service has been blowing up as I forget the moment I've seen it. The agencies were currently discussing how to set the guidelines of military exempt from Idaho. Netizens. Why is it bothering netizens? Citizens? Um, it's because it gives the impression that the army, that army and big entertainment are being stubborn trying to get, have done nothing except show support for their idols. Brought up the subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In midst of this. Okay. BTS was used as the leading example for this revision. On December 22, 2020, the Ministry of National Defense announced that a revision has been made. Effective June 23, 2021, where popular culture artists can postpone their enlistment until age 30, with the requirements that the individuals must have been recommended as recipients of the Order of Cultural Merit, one of the highest national honors given to artists in South Korea. In April 2021, 26 agencies, led by the Korean Music Content Association, filed a written objection against the revision, stating that the new law is both unrealistic and unfair. March 2021 Bro, oh, they've done so much and... I mean, in just this one minute, like, this is a big deal here. Oh, and they were the youngest? Oh, Y'all cut. Who the ta RM the tallest, huh? South Korea. In April 2021, 26 agencies led by the Korean Music Content Association filed a written objection against the revision, stating that the new law is both unrealistic and unfair. March 2021, BTS was nominated for the Best Duo Group Performance at the Grammys, which was announced during the online pre-show instead of the primetime ceremony, as it usually was in previous years. Unfortunately, they didn't take home the award, but what made fans even more upset 
was that the Grammys used BTS as ratings bait, teasing that BTS's、huh. performance would be quote unquote up next, but were actually placed as the second to last performance during the three and a half hour broadcast,、no、and、way. only given the time to perform an abridged performance of their song. A former managing editor for the Grammy Awards website spoke out the next day about the Recording Academy and how it pushed back on featuring BTS. But BTS got the last laugh.、Grammy's、A live stream of the band celebrating after the event has so far garnered more than 13 million views, compared to the 8.8 million viewers who tuned into the Grammys. March 2021. Tops released the Garbage Pail Kids Shammy Awards illustration and cards. Unlike the other, Tree Swift, Wild Styles, Island Eilish. Oh, oh, okay. So we got Billy, we got Taylor. I don't know who the third guy is. Unfortunately, Pail Kids Shammy Awards illustration and cards. Unlike the other art. Stunning stallion. Okay. BTS bruisers. What in God's green earth were they doing with this? That's so trash. They did them so terrible. Like they did everybody else decent. Make them look good. Why they? You know, why they make them all、uh, with the Grammy draw? With the Grammys though, that's stupid. Artists who were featured, BTS was depicted as being brutalized and beaten up by a Grammy trophy inside a whack-a-mole. This isn't the first time BTS has been shunned, put down, or bullied. Nah, and I feel bad, bro. And I don't got nothing to do with you know none of this stuff, but I live here. You know, we all I guess individually, like we are a part of where we come from, so we put on for our respective places. And that that was trash. Grammys was trash. Those that's stupid, y'all. In February 2021, a German radio station host made racist remarks about BTS, comparing them to COVID-19, and voiced his hopes that there will be a vaccine against BTS soon. He openly cursed at them for covering a Coldplay song and said that BTS deserves a 20-year vacation in North Korea. Halsey, Max,、haters. Lau, Steve Aoki, and more artists slammed the radio station's racism and xenophobia. Yeah. The host and station maintains that it was just a joke and that folks are too sensitive. During Zach Sang's show, a member named Liam from a boy band called Forever in Your Mind made these comments. Yeah, I agree that they're、yeah. a boy band, but at the same time, it's like. The rate I feel like it's like a different like they belong in a different genre on their own because I feel like there still needs to be like a European or an American boy band to be at the top and I think BTS can just live in their own they're BTS、okay. they don't you know what I mean no、okay. they're like like they, I don't think that they're gonna, so crazy it's、oh, dude, and it's global yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 like, yeah. I'm a fan I'm they're a, really yeah, good I, like good I, I can't I can't get behind it I don't understand what they're saying I got it I got just, it. I don't even know what to call them, boys or girls, because、Man. I don't know what they are. Look at these people. Look at this one. I don't know which one he is. Look at those highlights. Those chunky Tony and Guy mall. Why are you mad? Cause you can't get them. Salon highlights and the contact lenses. You are an Asian man. You don't need to look like a girl named Ashley. When I first heard something Korean had exploded in America, I got worried. I don't know. I think they look very nice. <laughs> oh, that is not what you were saying during the break. How did this become a thing in Western culture, where all these grown men and little girls are <laughs> off to little K-pop boys? Yo, how? You give me a how? You give me a girl, you boy. You give me a girl, you boy. You give me a how, you boy. Give me a good name. A senior editor from the Economist said, "Please no." After BTS was announced as speakers at the 75th UN General Assembly, she quickly tried to backtrack, claiming it was a joke. 
This led to Stefan Pollard, a British journalist, to tweet this, and Anne Hegarty, a television personality. My earlier tweet was about when they, uh, my earlier tweet about BTF was in jest, and I'm sorry it was taken the wrong way. Apologies. Oh my God, the replies to this have to keep remembering. Twitter is not online. All this about a little Korean boy band that's fundamentally not an important. Question mark. What? But they global though, and y'all talking about them. Never mind. Responding with all this about a little Korean boy band that's fundamentally not important? So when BTS was named Entertainer of the Year by Tom. That's a cold cover. Oh, look at these tones. They match me. They match my, match my brownness. Look at that. Look at them tones. The contrast in each face right there. K time. K BTS. Why you look cold though in an oversized suit though? That's hard. Time magazine soon after, RM said, We're not sure if we've actually earned respect, but one thing is for sure is that people feel like, okay, this is not just some kind of syndrome or phenomenon. These little boys from Korea are doing this. Say that. BTS have always been outspoken about the injustice of racial discrimination. In the summer of 2020, they used their platform and proudly announced their support for Black Lives Matter and donated $1 million to the organization. With the recent rise and visibility. My Asian brothers and sisters. Thank you. BTS, Korea. Well, BTS, thank you. Of atrocities against Asians, BTS released a statement on their Twitter standing in solidarity and that's once big again. Facts. These big are facts. just a few of the countless examples of mistreatment, racism, and xenophobia that BTS has been encountering around the world throughout their storied career. It will more than likely be a continued uphill battle. As artists of color who are constantly breaking records and barriers, yeah. amassing fans and growing in popularity around the globe, hostility and jealousy will come easily from those not afforded the luxury of such a strong and dedicated fan base. As fans who are cognizant of their journey and understand that their popularity comes from their sincerity and talent, armies have a tendency to be protective and sometimes overly so. If only because of the awareness of what BTS and ARMY are up against when fighting for fair representation. Hey. Hey. Hey, that's crazy, y'all. They went through a lot of stuff, bro. Death threats, being blackballed, having huge companies, like not even talk about you and on their platform having them x you out of communication so they started their own bro they put big hit on their back army put big hit on their back bts and army and big hit they kept going and that and that and that's important bro like like as we look at all of these struggles right as as a colored creator myself as we see all these struggles as we go through all these struggles you know it's a lot it's a lot man but you gotta keep going you know keep going man like like if there is one thing that you get from from this right now and this today man is that you got it you can make it you can get through this like you see you see how power rangers get their powers man they don't back down, they don't quit. And they keep working what they know how to work. And they go on. And it's gonna work out. This was a powerful video, bro. Him offering those cheeseburgers, bro, and they saying, you know. And they're saying, oh, it seemed like it's old. And, uh, 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 and like basically like like almost spitting in his face in a way. Like like that, like that type of stuff is sickening. Like I said, man, and and Man, I ain't I ain't really wanna cry, bro, but man, like that stuff really gets me. So I don't really have too much more to say. I I, I just I just pray for all of y'all, man. 
um pray for bts bro and and especially those people who are not named and are not you know found yet you know people who are working for the right reasons people who are being pure within the ways that they step man so um yeah y'all just keep on keeping on for real for real man so hey i'm swaying money that was bts hardships from 2013 to 2021 this is a grateful shirt if you want a shirt like this, use code SM15 at yeah, checkout. Quick and easy, four characters. And you'll get some. Um, if you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, and let me know what y'all want to see from me next, man. Peace, love, I'm out.